How's it going, YouTube? It's the it's your main man, the sauce, and today I got something I've been trying to try for a while, and, and it's from France. It's called Saint Landolin's Le Divine, and it's a Bière de Gard. And I've never had a Bière de Gard, but of course I'm willing to try any beer. It doesn't really matter what kind of beer it is, as long as it's a beer, I'm gonna love it. It's eight percent alcohol. And it's got the most crazy swing top I've ever seen. I've never opened a beer out of a swing top, and I'm looking forward to it. I read online that a guy opened a beer with a swing top, and he got sprayed in the face, so I'm not trying to act like that guy. But 8% alcohol, 25.4 fluid ounces. It actually has the fluid ounces on the 750 milliliter. It usually doesn't. So now I know how much it is. It's two beers and an ounce. Two beers and an ounce, and this was around ten bucks. So I just bought ten bucks, two beers for like ten bucks. But I don't care. <coughs> I loved that. That was awesome. The power. That was the the power within. <clears throat> so I'm I'm liking that swing top. Let's see what we got going on in here. Ooh, too thick of a head. Pour it real fast. Look at that head. So, it's like a really clear golden. It's got a fat, almost three fingers of head. You can check out that beer. It's like a brown. It's, it's like nice beer uh, still left in there. Lots. I wonder if I can shut this back up and keep it fresh. I never thought about it, but probably can. Mm. But it's really, really clear. Oh, it does it does shut up. It shuts it back up completely perfect. That's awesome. It's not saying you should save it, but very clear, just like a uh, almost like a Duvel, except for not as light as in uh, color, but in the, in the clearness. There's not as many bubbles as the Duvel, uh, but Duvel also has the, uh, the nice see-through. Perfect. Uh, there's no sediment in the bottle at all, and there's the thickest white head ever. I shouldn't have poured it so hard, but that white head is like staying where it is. It's not going anywhere. Like I said, it was brewed in France. It's just a uh, it's a beer de garde. I've never had a beer de garde. They said it's going to have some uh, the hop, more hops than a lot of uh, other Belgian strong dark ales. But I love more hops. So <coughs> it has a roasted malt characteristic and a nice hop taste. It's awesome. Mm. And that's 8.5 percent. You know what it says? 8 percent. For 8 percent, you can barely taste the alcohol, but the the um, foam on the top is really making like mountains. It's not like going down all at once. It's making like peaks, and it's all uh, it's all layered. There's no real definite top to it. It's all different. Uh, it's a crazy beer. Mm. What are you going to do? Beer de Garde. For my first Beer de Garde, I'd say that's a, I'd say that's a good candidate. I've never had, a, I've never heard of Beer de Garde. I've never heard of any better. But St. Landolin's Le Divine is uh, pretty tasty. I don't know. I just like Belgian and French beers, considering they're so close to each other. Mm. You can take another look at that bottle. It's got the swing top to it. it. Makes a cool sound when you pop it off. Top feels like plastic with a rubber stopper. It would keep a lot of the uh, the air in. You may be even able to save that.
Well, I'm going to go ahead and give that a single thumbs up. It's not the best beer I've trace, tasted, but for a beer to guard that I've never tasted, it's a really good beer. And I like the, the nice hops and the pronounced roasted malts. It's really great. So, I mean, get, get a Le Divine. The Le Divine. I best see you buy one and get one and drink it. I best see you. I better see you have one online. You you better like you better buy it. I I want to see it honestly. I, I'm like I'm serious here. I want you to buy this beer and drink it up. Drink the whole thing. Chug it. Beer bong that thing. I would love to see a YouTube of it. But uh, just try it.